Hello, dudes and dudettes. We are back in the house of spooky spooks. Spooky 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 so when is something gonna be popping up in any of these little windows? I really wonder. I really wonder from the thunder down under. Let's go down into the next set of 50 or 100. Oh, more detailed bricks. Just look at that lighting. Look at those little flares in my eyes. I have an itch in my nose. That too is there. Ooh, these creepy bricks. 300 gets spoopy. Super spoop. So much spoop, it's creppy. You can't get much more creppy than spoopy crap. But then again, some of this is a load of crap. Like... Oh. I was expecting a jump scare that time. Should I expect it this time? <laughs> I actually expected a lumpy space princess this time. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit used to a random generate randomly generated jump scare. Okay, 305. Staying alive, staying alive. It's a stomp who's not alive, not alive. Well anymore. Stumps are usually trees with their heads cut off. And that's decrepit. But who wants to be decrepit in a horror game? That makes no sense. I mean, that'd be too romantic. In fact, it might be romantic. Oh, look at these big open rooms. Look at these big swoopy open rooms. And I want to pause it so I make sure nothing jumps out at me as I'm itching my eye because I don't need to poke my eye out. Okay. Room three. Um... Legend of Zelda? I like the music. Dang it, why is my face so itchy? The spookiness is kind of giving me all the tinglies, like there's something crawling on my face. Hmm. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> Pixelated door. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Oh. What in the name of Majora? One day a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous. So, one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in the river. I'm guessing that led to a curse. Right, masks? Yes. Especially you, sad face. I'll see what you say. But just afterwards, he came running into the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. Oh. <clears throat> he dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Oh, this could be something bad. This is worse than uh, Matura's Mask right now. I severely hope I get nothing bad that comes with this. But I do like these masks, though. Hello, Skullface. Isn't that cry? I'm sorry, I don't really know that YouTuber too well, so I'm only making a random guess. But I'm guessing everyone gets a little bit of something from themselves in this game. But we'll see how time goes as I travel onward. Is this supposed to be something here? Nope. Is this unlocked yet? Okay, puzzle time. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, so this is... Becoming more of a little Legend of Zelda puzzle. Well, that's not it. Hmm. Can I do anything with you? Oh boy. 
Room 310, and I'm actually stuck. Oh! Why didn't I think of that before? Probably because it's actually plastered to the pixels. But this kind of feels like a little bit of a modern retro. I like that. It's like a modern retro ver... <sighs> Sorry. It's like a modernized version of a lot of the classic horror pixelated games. That's what I'm kind of liking about these kind of games nowadays. These styles are coming back in fashion for the gaming industry because you can't get much better than some of the pixelated horrors that you find. I mean, hell, if I can jump at little creepy things in here, or non-creepy things, you're doing something right because graphics aren't everything. In fact, when you make a game that's actually made with gameplay, you're doing it right. I mean, I mean good gameplay. Let's see what's over here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, this looks nice and spooky. Well, Skullface, I shall see you soon. I guess I have to get a key for you. Puzzle time! Oh, <laughs> somebody didn't have a happy life. <laughs> Although not what they wanted, the shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing. And as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. They the excuse me. These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. <laughs> that is nice and spooky. I'm guessing this is a wall that's supposed to turn around or something. But I guess not. I only wonder why there's blood on the floor but not the wall. That would usually imply a sacred passage, but... In technology like this, of pixels... You can only do so much for dimensions. And keeping a uniform. Is this door going to scream at me? Eh? Eh? Oh! <laughs> Hello, missing children! <laughs> Mask salesman? I'm sorry, puppet man. Oh, great! He's a chaser! Well, get what sweat, puppet man. I never blink. What? Oh dear. This can only end badly. Uh oh. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> to become a puppet is to rid oneself of the pain and harshness of choice. Now nothing you do is your fault. Now you belong to something. You belong to me. Your soul wanders in endless maze. Well, I guess the puppet master is someone I have to kind of keep my eyes on. So he doesn't come and get me to make him his puppet. This reminds me a little bit of the SCP-173? Hey look, I can beat my old score. I'm the champion of myself! So, what else can I conquer in Lag Studios? Maybe get past some of these things. An intro. <laughs> oh, and some gas. Excuse me. Let's continue. And down these rooms of horror. But, man, Puppet Man is a little bit creepy. I guess that's what happens when your children have been tossed in the water. You have to get revenge by turning your enemies into puppets. Makes reminds me of that one madam. That one madam who changed kids into puppets. Well then again, nothing left but dead silence. Haha, <laughs> lumpy space princess. You're actually predictable this time. 
<laughs> Look at that hanged man. So, do I get faceless or do I get puppet master? Actually, I'm wondering, did my health get too low before? Probably did, but I wasn't paying attention. 307. Oh, ho, ho. it's finally a skeleton. And another skeleton. Ha <laughs> ha, the actual Scully. Now put in the face of cardboard. Still think that picture looks like magma. Oh man, I wanted to get the fancy Egyptian music. You know what would have been bad is it would you know what would be bad would be if there would be enemies here that um just came out of the wall just because I was trying to solve this again. Ah, there is the music. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Gotta like that fancy ancient sounding music. Oh, I guess you can waste um, sprint by just pressing shift. That's by a bug I want to probably make mention of later. Well, I do like that they actually give backstory to these characters of sorts. So that's why that face was there. It's the dead puppet master. Hello, children. I am back. <laughs> Aren't you nice and creepy? Oh, there's your thread. I'll never blink! Oh my goodness! Okay, this is getting bad. This is getting worse. Oh, no you don't. I'm gonna let myself heal. You have to wait. Sorry guys, I'm gonna be healing for a moment. Because this puppet master is getting a little bit angry at me. What's the matter? Are you mad that I can actually find your secrets because you are just a puppet that likes to move when I look away? You know, the funny thing about this is I kinda want... I feel, I'm afraid of actually looking away here because I feel like he'll move if I don't pay attention. But, hey, I'm just doing what my job is. I'm surviving. And the ghosts are getting creepier. Yeah. Oh, that's why the music is like that. He's like this. He's moving like a puppet. Okay, I think I'm well, well healed enough. <laughs> I know what you're doing. You're trying to slash me, aren't you? But you can't get me. I love your theme music, though. Hmm. Why am I hearing a skeleton? Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to follow me, Puppet Master, aren't you? Well, think again. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I can sprint backwards. Hmm. Door, I have my eyes on you. Haha. -ha. Try to get me, puppet man. Oh. 
Okay, you're getting creepier! Uh. Mm, can I get away yet? Mm, Puppet Master, go away. Eyes on my back. Well, the spiders aren't creepier yet. Stinking puppet man. Puppets. Always out to get you. Always to there to try and pull your strings. Come on, man. Come on! Come on! Stop following me! Don't you give me that grin. Salvation, finally. I have to keep making it looking back and everything. Frickin' puppet man. Puppet master. Don't you be getting my butt no more. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, let's try and see if we can run through the rest of these 25 rooms. Because those ghosts are trying to get creepier. Flames! Oh, look, it's a dev room again. And while I'm here, I might as well itch my face and my nose. Especially my nose, because it's being really itchy now. It's my nervous itch nose. Nervousness is a bad thing. Oh, boy. So, I've given everyone nicknames. I feel satisfied. Anyone who gets a name shall be not as scary. Less spoop. Per character. I played these games before. Except this one. Oh, nothing there. Room 334. 335. Let's go. I'm running out of time, man. Because I can see my camera's battery is actually getting low. Jerry, what you doing? I'm just hanging out in the room. And then here to... Because I'm a chair of wood. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> How goofy can you get? Oh wait, I'm asking myself that. Another arcade room. The room's number. The room numbers are changing though. Oh look, it's a spooky kid. And Cherry. Hello. <laughs> oh come on, let's see what's new here. Okay, let's see if we got ourselves a new subject. Access specimen database. Did we get specimen six? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Active. Total fatality is 189. Method, physical punctures. A wooden knife-sized puppet found floating in a reservoir where a town had once been. That's nice. Um, specimen is active despite appearance and has proved very effective in subjects who disregard it or have vision impairments. Oh man, he, what is he, just kind of kill the blind right away? That's rude. Well, I guess I can't hit next yet because I have no idea what's coming yet. Ooh, something spooky. This one's seven. Okay, this might be bad. I'm sorry I'm wasting more time, but oh well. Type, unknown. Fata total fatality is 93. Method, unknown. Specimen is constantly changing form and attributes depending on subject's personality, but most common form resembles a wall of moving anatomy symbols. Only effective on subjects with past trauma or a history of psychological issues. And that moving anatomy symbols? Those boxes aren't them, right? Let's see who is subject 8. So specimen 8. 
Oh dear. It's a deer ghost. Hey Jitty. There's a deer ghost. Yes, a creepy deer ghost. <laughs> Type, active. Total fatality is 149. Method, absorption. What do you think of that? Just knee? Deer? <laughs> okay. A floating figure that appeared in a test chamber a few years after it was filled with what was believed to just be unusually violent deer. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> Specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. You know, if that puppet semester gave me any idea of death screens, I'm guessing the other enemies have death screens too, but I don't want to be wasting time on that right now when I could be advancing. But I could be advancing, but when I want to research, I kind of prefer to research. Let's see what our creepy one is. Our missing nine. Our broken nine. Oh, that's who you were! Type, exterminated. Total fatalities, 362. Method unknown. A small skull shaped mass of clay that seemed to gain more from. Uh, came more form as subjects were taken, 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 taken. Specimen was deemed too hard to contain and was killed and dismantled by GL Labs. No, he wasn't! He only gets you if you're confined into a closing hallway. Um, so take. I'm trying to read what it says, but I'll probably find it out. Dead to take, de the dead to take, the dead to take. Yeah. So that's an interesting guy. So he's haunting. Oh boy. Ugh. Type, docile. I hope so. Total fatalities. Um. Is that a zero or an eight? I'd probably assume an eight, maybe. Method, unknown. A worm-like creature... And I'm seeing something, secret message I can't read yet. Okay, a worm-like creature that inhabits the old, rundown GL labs. Genetically modified eel that was supposed to be extremely violent, but instead was very passive. Though not effective, it was kept as a pet until the facility was abandoned due to specimen... 118... Two, five. Oh, what? That's a lot. So this is the new SCP, except a lot more cartoony. Uh, I wish I could read that. Um, if I have to catch it in some of the frames, I'll probably see if I can do a little freeze frame for you guys if I can find it. As long as I get enough images. So let's see about specimen 11. Oh! Aren't you a fancy specter? It's a devil. Type active. Total fatality is 317. Method unknown. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office once owned by a restaurant franchise. I guess he's the spirit of a greedy landlord. The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with specimen, but sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside the testing chamber days later. Proved not effective as victims' souls do not remain after contact. Ha <laughs> ha Nice and creepy. I actually want to see about our subject 9 again. Ah, there it is. Yeah, you're a fancy clay guy, aren't you? Okay, let's see about um, modifying house layout. Error, should've known. So, that's enough research. Let's exit and make sure I don't die. Because I only have seven more rooms to go. Let's travel, and travel, and travel. Okay, three more to go. Woohoo, spooks. Everywhere. Everywhere a spook. Okay, another research room. Let's see if there's anything new. Nope. Just same as it was. Okay. I wonder if specimen 11 was the one. 
So, as I can't do anything here, let's get out of here and move onward. We have two more rooms to go. That's the arcade! Hey! 350. Okay, shouldn't there be a stop? Okay, I guess not. Um, I assume I'll have to make the stop myself this time. So... Um, actually, you know what? Let me see if I can get a few more rooms, and if I can't get anything further, I'll have to cut off the episode here. I ran into a wall. Yeah, 353. 354. So... Well, something's off to get me. Let's get over here. Yeah, something trying to get me. Hamura? No. Okay. 357. Yep. I think it's about time I have to say thank you for watching. As always, ladders and gentlemen, I shall say adieu for now. Until the next video, because, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles in a spooky house. So, I am Justo De Rama. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and I shall see you later. Toodles. Let's run! Run! And run! And more running! Especially more running! On top of the running, they shall be running! Because when I'm not running, I'm freaking running! Another ghost! God dang it! Get this freaking thing out of the way. I don't know if I missed a note or anything, but I don't care. I'm running from this freaking face of sky because somehow he's following me into each room. How he's doing this, I don't know. God dang it, Space Princess Bubblegum Space Princess. Princess Lumpy Space Princess, frick you. Ugh. Get me out of this freaking place. Come on, Faceless, stop being so fast on my tail and I can actually sprint out of the way from you. Come on, Sprinty.